Hey, clear out of here, George. Danny boy, I don't see nobody before a fight. Danny wanted to see me. Didn't you, Danny? Sure did, Georgie. George is going to be my new trainer if you don't lighten up. What do you think you're doing? He's a public service man. Your boy needs me. Get the hell out of here. You get out. Danny, you go get him, man. Get him. Uh, do you think the uh, referee should have stopped the fight sooner? Danny was uh, fighting pretty good, and then all of a sudden he just stopped. Something wrong with the guy. What do you say when you just killed a man with your fists? You can say you both took the same risks, and you can deny there was any malice. After all, none of the blows were struck in anger. You can even try to convince yourself there was something wrong with the other guy, that it would have happened anyway if he'd just been walking down the street somewhere. And even if all this is true, it doesn't change the way people start to look at you. Or the way you feel. It didn't seem like it was hurting him. Something wrong with him. He said enough. For the record, are you saying that Mulligan shouldn't have been in the ring tonight? What I'm saying is that guy wasn't ready before he went in, okay? Get that thing out of my face. You want some more? You knew he was hurting, and you kept on hitting him, you murdering bastard! Listen, Tommy, he wasn't ready before he went in. Who the hell's fault do you think that is? Try to lay it on me. You said you were going to kill him, and you did, you Hold it, man! Get off me! Ah. Hold it! You're going to bite off more than you can chew. Now, hold it! Mary, don't! Mary? That big mouth of yours is going to get you into more trouble than you can take one day, old man. Lucky he didn't kill me. Did you always like this after a fight? You've just seen it yourself. I'm twice as old as him. He takes a shot at me. He could have killed me, the maniac! The damn maniac! He could have been a contender. He was a contender. He was a damn good fighter. Not quite good enough. 
We'll still pay money to see this? Look, we're in a bit of a hurry. You got any idea what happened? Sorry, I guess I'm not used to rushing. My patients aren't much of a hurry. Look, I realize he looks like a mishandled slab of beef right now, but this was a man. His mother probably loved him. He probably had some friends, some lovers. So I don't see why he's not worth a few minutes of your valuable time. You have a cause of death. Multiple blows of the head? We have to come down here for that? If something happened to this guy, is that the fight? I had the boys in biology do a rush on his blood and tissue test. He had a snoot full of coke before he got into the ring. Coke? You saying he died of an overdose? No, but I've had people walk through glass doors in here with less coke in their bloodstream. Look, if he hadn't taken any coke, would he still be alive? You saw the fight. What do you think? Nice outfit. A report that says a prize fighter was killed in the ring is not going to make any impression in court. Elaine, the man was full of drugs. Well, then give it to narcotics. It's not a homicide. Selling illegal drugs is a felony. I always figured that a death that occurred as a result of a felony is a homicide. All right. Assume we catch the guy. Even assume that we can prove beyond a doubt that he gave Mulligan the drugs. We still have a fighter that was killed in the ring. Well, fighters get killed. It goes with the territory. Yeah, if you know what you're doing. The way uh, Gareth tells us, this guy didn't even know what country it was in. Well, are you trying to tell me that somebody held him down and, and forced him to snort the stuff? It doesn't matter how they gave it to him. It's still a felony. We have to prove recklessness. Whoever gave him the drug had to know that taking it might kill him. How do we prove that? Oh, that's your job. I saw this guy die, Jim. Let me run with it. Sports now. I just thought that I'd uh, say something about it. In defense of the art of self-defense, thought you'd be a little turned off after last night. Well, accidents happen, and that's a fact of life everybody accepts. An accident happens in the ring, and then everybody starts shooting band boxing. I mean, I just thought I'd get my two cents in. It sounds more like a nickel to me. Listen, uh, you got any contacts still down at the gym? Yeah, if I get down there some way. Well, if I knew a guy, he'd say. He's a fighter. He's been in a little trouble, but he's a good guy. Uh, you think you could get something going for him there? What, are you into social work I, I, now, I, I, or what? Could you do it? Well, is he any good? Yeah, he's good. He's good. He's good. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm sure I could do it. Thanks. See ya. Where's this time to my fighter, you promised me? He's right here. Frank Taylor. I heard you had an argument with him outside the locker. Yeah, what's that got to do with anything? Who started it? He did. Was there anything about the way he was acting? Anything you noticed? I knew there was something wrong with that guy. There had to be. Who said there was something wrong with him? Guy gets killed in the ring. Two cops don't come by asking questions unless there's something wrong. I mean, it's crazy. It's like I'm hitting this guy, and it's like it's, I'm hitting a soft bag. He's not defending himself for nothing. It's like it's not like it's not hurting him, though. Not like it doesn't show. I figure maybe he's laying off. He's holding back. Here, I got this on tape. Let me show you. Please, Larry, don't. I don't want to see it again. Cindy, don't you understand? It wasn't my fault. There was something wrong with that guy, wasn't there? Listen, I got to know. Do you think it's easy living with this? I got to settle. Were there any drugs at the gym? Drugs, yeah, so that was it. Why don't you try and answer some questions for a change? Why don't you lighten up, pal? I told you last night at the gym I didn't know you were a cop. Well? I don't know anything about drugs. I don't go near that stuff. You mean to say there was nothing around? Yeah, sure, there's stuff around. Football players, basketball players, baseball players. Hell, you think fighters are any different? Well, tell us about it, pal. Why don't you go talk to Tommy Marshall? He was Danny's trainer. If there's anything wrong with him, he damn well ought to know. Was well, that why you tried taking his head off after the fight? 
the hell's that supposed to mean? Last night you were talking like you knew plenty. What shut you up today? So you calling me a liar? Nobody's calling you anything, Mr. Johnson. Larry. You stay out of this. Take it easy. Larry, don't do this. I got nothing left to say to these guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. He's uh, it's been real hard on him. Is that right? I was pressing a little hard. He must have run that machine a hundred times. Like it would come out differently if he looked at it long enough. All right. Stick it. Not bad. Not bad. Quick, quick, middle one. That's good. You see that this guy's no stiff. Check him out. This your new tough guy, Flannery? <laughs> Easy to hit a bag, man. Bag don't hit back. I knew there was a reason I liked it. Want to try something with arms that moves? That won't hurt you. Why not? All right, let's do it. <clears throat> hey, Dave. Got a new boy? I'm taking a look at him. What are you doing here? I told you to stay away a couple of days. I, I can't stay around the house. It drives me crazy. Here, you're a hard man. Done some time. Nothing to talk about. Well, let's see what you got, man. Get the hats on. Come on. Looking good, tough guy. Hey! Back off, puppy! This ain't none of your business, man. You want a brawl, take it out in the parking lot. I ain't fighting the both of you, man. Hey, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You and Danny Mulligan, were you pretty close? I loved that boy like he was my own son. I wouldn't let a kid of mine mess with drugs. You think it's that easy? I told him. I told all my boys. You mess with that stuff, you find yourself another trainer. Are you saying you didn't know he was coked out when he went to the ring? I knew the kid had a problem. This problem have a name? Did you see anyone hanging around the night of the fight? Uh, no. Somebody killed your best fighter, your boy. You loved him like a son. Tell me who it was. I got nothing to say. What tests do you do before a fight? Uh, eyeball them. Check out the equipment. Give them a pull, make them cough. Do the required urinalysis. Uh, no blood tests, if that's what you mean. Your analysis would show cocaine, wouldn't it? Uh, sure. But if he was a habitual user, he'd probably fake the sample. How can he fake it if you're there? Well, I don't hold her hands in the jaw. Right, so the test was no good, then? Well, it's better than nothing. That'll make Danny Mulligan feel a lot better. Uh, you're right. I, I should have spotted something. Yeah, I don't feel great that I didn't. Usually, it's the out-of-town guys I worry about. Half the time, they've been knocked out three times in the last two weeks in three different countries. And they're fighting under an assumed name with a fake record. Sometimes I can spot a problem and keep them out of the ring. Yeah, I, I missed it. I guess I should have been more careful. I'll catch you guys later. Hey, uh, thanks for in there. Oh, don't worry about it. That guy's scum. I'm Frank. Frank Taylor. Larry Johnson. I, uh, I hear you did some time. Guess a lot of guys in here have done some time. Yeah? What were you in for? 
I hit a guy too hard. We weren't in the ring. How about you? Listen, you don't want to talk about it. It's fine with me. It's a drug thing. No big deal. Anytime spent inside's a big deal. Yeah. Meet some good people. Yeah. I hope you learned something, too. Yeah, I learned you can't make bread boxing, that's for sure. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Whatever you want. Listen, you want some real work? Until something else comes along? Sure. I need a sparring partner. Last guy's ribs haven't healed yet. OB. Here you were talking to the cops today. They were talking to me. That comes to the same thing. What were they saying? They're hard to nail somebody for Danny. I hope you didn't tell them anything, old man. I'd hate to think that about you. Why the hell couldn't you just leave the kid alone? Look, if it wasn't for me, that bum wouldn't have lasted as long as he did. He couldn't even get in the ring without the stuff. Huh? You're a pig, Bronkowski. You're a damn stinking pig. That's no way to talk, man. You got a problem, Bobby? Maybe this will solve it for you. I got no problem with you, man. No problem at all. You stay away from me or my boys. You got that? I might just have to tell them what I should have told them already. I got that, Tommy. Hey. Not bad. Nice draw. Nice grouping. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey, thanks for the intro down at the gym, Tommy. Wait a minute. You look like you've been hit by a truck. Yeah, something like that. Hey, can I get you something for you? Yeah, give me a beer. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. So, is, uh, is there anything shaking? Uh, no, just me in the ring. Oh. oh, Kevin, you had a real future in the ring. More like you had a past. Hmm? There's no future in the ring. Thanks. Boxing is a noble sport. Been around since the Greeks, for God's sake. They used to get their kicks feeding people to the lions. No, I was a Romanist. The Greeks were a lot more civilized. You call putting two people in the ring and watching them beat each other to death civilized? Now, come on, you boxed. You know there's more to it than that. Yeah, I have boxed. It's hitting people and getting hit. I mean, it's terrific when you're 15 and you don't mind getting your brain scrambled. Uh, at seven. Boxing is the bare strip essence of sport. Here we go. It's an all-out struggle between two individuals who have serious physical and emotional stakes. Yeah, like the thrill of knocking someone senseless. Like winning. There are people who support their families through boxing. What happens to them if you ban it? You go and get a job breaking someone's face for a loan shark. Well, they don't break people's faces for a loan shark, and that's the whole point. There are guys who have the physical attributes that make a very honest living from boxing. Yeah. Unless you die. It was an accident. You don't stop driving cars because of car wrecks. No, it wasn't an accident, Tom. That's the whole point. The only way to win a fight is by hurting the other guy. Well, you don't have to hurt anybody. You can win on points. And how do you get points? By hitting the other guy. The only difference between winning by points and getting killed is a matter of degree. The intent is the same either way. Look, you don't get into the ring to kill somebody. Look, the bottom line is you want to knock the guy out. How the hell do you know what happens after that? And you don't go to a boxing match to watch somebody get killed. I don't know. I heard quite a few people yelling, kill Mulligan last night. That's not what I meant. Including you and me.
coming. Okay, hold it. Right where you are. Hey, 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 what is this, an eclipse? <sighs> Worse. <laughs> Sundown. The well, least you could do is get out of my rays. I didn't know this is how you kept your color. Huh. You gotta talk, Jefferson. Yeah, well, go see yourself a good shrink. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Look, honey, why don't you, uh, why don't you go make us a couple of those wine drinks, huh? And have Myron put some fruit in there. We gotta get our vitamin C, man. Hey. Hurry back, huh? So, uh, nice you dropped by, O'Brien. Hate to cut into your valuable time. Yeah, well, you got about two minutes of my valuable time, because, uh, as you can see, I got something big cooking here. I'm real happy for you. Well, join narcotics, man. You can have a piece of this action yourself. Now, listen up, Eric. You got something interesting going on down at the West Side Gym? You know, I've really got to stop filing reports. I'm letting everybody read them these days. What is it? Well, you're welcome to everything I got. Which is? Squat. Squat. Yeah, square business, man. I uh, did a little scouting around down there, sniffing here and there, and uh, couldn't find nothing, man. No contact. I don't suppose you care to hear that we got a man working on the inside. What? What? What'd you say? Hey, wait. Where you going? Hey, hey, slow down, O'Brien. Come on, man, you need me on this one. Hey, you got something big cooking. Hey, Angela, Angela, make him a drink. Come on, stick around. Hey, hey, I'm never too busy to help a fellow out. So come on, man. Tommy Marshall beaten to death. Uniform got here and Johnson was still with the body. Dr. Gillette uh, heard them fighting call 911. You got a statement on him? He said he didn't do it. Well, let's get hey, out of hey, here. Hey, hey, hey. Guys got a right to see All right, all right, Tony. Hey, I got more than a problem. I got rights here, too. You know, and so does he. Hey, Frankie, don't get out of here. Hold on a second. I had second, enough man. out of you. What are you? Hey, hey, hey. If it was his lawyer, you wouldn't be pulling this crap, you know? I mean, what did he do anyway? He didn't yeah, kill nobody. Why don't you let us figure that out for ourselves, all right? No, it's not okay, Hey, it's not okay. Hey, man, let's pull me off. Hey, leave me alone. He didn't do nothing. Hey, you know? Now you got rights. Yeah. You got rights to go downtown. Let's bring them both with us. Come on, man. No, he didn't do nothing. Let's my arm. <laughs> Why would I want to kill Tommy Marshall? I saw you take a swing at him last night. Yeah, well, he ticked me off. I got sort of a short fuse. No, really? So? You said something that got you going. What'd you say? Nothing. Something about Danny, right? Nothing. He didn't say nothing to me. He was dead when I walked in there. You gotta believe that. Well, we got a witness who says different. Who? The last thing in the world I want to do is get Larry Johnson in any trouble. Well, Dr. Gillette, the statement that you gave the uh, patrolman doesn't make him look very good. Perhaps a few details might uh, help him out. You know, like I said, I, uh, I talked to Marshall earlier, and he said he was going to meet Larry. Any idea why? From what I hear, they weren't very good friends. Maybe, uh, maybe Larry wanted to try to straighten things out. So, you saw Marshall go into the locker room. And then Johnson followed him, what, uh, a few minutes later? Yeah, maybe 10 minutes later. You tell me who. I'm going to kill that line. You just of... beat him to death, right? You're getting to be quite an expert at it, aren't you, Johnson? Get out of my face. You better learn to take it, sucker. Because I'm going to be on you like white on rice until you tell me why you killed them. I called emergency, and when the cops got there, I... Wait a minute. I mean, you waited for them? You didn't go into the locker room? Well, I started to, and then I heard the siren. Now, they were there real fast. Say, the, uh, the other guy they brought in, do you think he could have had something to do with it? Well, Taylor? 
We'll find out. Look, I didn't kill that guy. You gotta believe me. It's gonna be you and me all night long, ain't it, white bread? All right. Somebody take care of that blonde and blue. She's been here for days. Good night. Got anything yet, Kim? Yeah, preliminary statement on the Gillette uh, report. Your partner thinks Johnson's innocent. I just don't buy it. We got a witness who placed him at the scene of the crime. We got motive. We even got a television screaming match between the victim and the suspect. What more do you want? Not to mention the fact that we know that Johnson beat two other men to death. Hey, don't use that in here if you can't use that in court. When did that start bothering you, Frank? Oh, by the same time you forgot that Mulligan kid was high on drugs before he went in the ring. What about Delbert Willis? He wasn't on drugs or in the ring when Johnson killed him. I was sparring with Johnson tonight. I was supposed to meet him in the locker room. You don't invite other people along when you're planning a murder. Who says he planned it? The man has a history of violence. He got mad and he hit the guy. It's the story of his life, as far as I can see. Look, it might sound nuts. But I like the guy, okay? I mean, I got a gut feeling on this one, trust me. Well, stop letting him go in under your left. It'll go away after a while. We, we got motive, opportunity, and a pretty good witness. You got a gut level feeling. What do you want us to do? All right, Gillette says he heard Marshall and Johnson fighting, so he called 911 and went to wait for the squad car to show up. So? All right, the call went in at 12.45. The squad car showed up at 12.50. That's five minutes. Now, when the cops get there, Johnson is leaning over the body. What was he waiting for? Why didn't he run? Maybe Johnson didn't know he'd killed him. Oh, come on, will you? I mean, a guy doesn't hang around after stretching a guy out on the floor. I don't have to convince a jury he's smart. I just have to convince him he's guilty. The whole thing hangs on Gillette's statement. What if Gillette's lying? Give me one reason why he should. All right. I'll go check it out. The doctor? Said you needed a reason? Don't tell me you got a gut feeling, too. Well, okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Gillette. Appreciate you coming in again. Hey, hey, hey. I'm looking for O'Brien. Oh, that's nice, Dave. You know, none of the hi, Freddy, how are you, Freddy? Uh, Skip all the small talk, go right to the... Yeah, 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 yeah. So where is he, huh? It's in Elaine's office. He'll be out in a couple of minutes, and you wait in the squad room. Coffee at narcotics? Well, you just never know what somebody might put in the town, man. <laughs> I used to work narcotics. <laughs> Kidding. What, I don't look the type? Uh, put it this way, if I was uh, looking to make a deal, you wouldn't exactly be top on the list, you know? Maybe that's why I was so lousy at the job. What brings you here? Yeah, I just thought I'd uh, drop by, give you a little help on the undercover you got going. Who says we need any help? You heard the man? Yo, Brian, man, we got some serious police work to talk about here, see, because you need me. Here I am. Yeah, go ahead. I thought you said you had squat. Come on, man, you can't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Look, man, you got an inexperienced man on the inside, and uh, a lot could go wrong, right? The way I see it, you need somebody who's been around the block a couple of times. Okay, I got it, thanks. I think Frank can take care of himself. Yeah, maybe he can, maybe he can't. Uh, but I know a couple people down there, right? The way I see it, if uh, Frank and I hook up, who knows? Maybe it'll make us both look good. Aren't you the guy who didn't get anything? <laughs> huh? No contact? For all I know, they made you. Made me? Yeah, made me. Yeah. Well, who's he gonna set the deal with, huh? Who's he gonna set it up with? You, Hogan? Come on, man, give me a break. Narcotics gonna supply the cash? What? Goodbye, you're gonna need the cash. That is the way it's usually done, isn't it? Hey, I think you're starting to catch on. My man.
stayed off your face that time, man. It's good to see you're learning. Maybe you'd like to give me another lesson right now. Huh? I figured you'd be along, man. You know, we, um, we want to talk a little business. He's with me. I'm George. I like your office. Yeah, well, when I talk to a guy, I like to know what he's carrying. Besides, steam's good for you. It clears up your sinuses. My sinuses are clear, so what the hell is this about anyway? It was a dumb stunt you pulled with the cops. They could have put you away. Yeah, they could have. But they didn't. I don't like to deal with a guy who isn't careful. Dealing what? Okay. I hear that maybe you know some people that like to buy some goods. Could be. It could be I know some people that have the goods. Sounds like we know people who ought to get together. Do you know the West End Bar on 16th? I can find it. Well, find it in a couple of hours and bring along some of these people. You might not be able to get them by then. I guess that depends on how bad you want to do the deal. What do you think? I think we ought to be real careful. Uh, Kevin, Hi. Frank's buddy Johnson made bail. Homicide wouldn't stick. They're gonna go for manslaughter. All right. This is everything we got on that sleeve who set up a deal with Frankie. George Gronkowski has a record a mile long. Half dozen convictions, drugs, assault, strictly small time. And this is everything on Dr. Martin Gillette. Well, didn't he ever get a speeding ticket? No, I went to med school, then he had a residency at City Hospital, got into the sports thing, worked for a couple of hockey teams and a basketball team. Well, it doesn't sound like he's into anything evil. No, the only thing is his one-year residency lasted six months, but maybe they get the dates wrong. Maybe. But let's check this out. I got a friend in City Hospital. All right, lead the way. Just remember that when the deal goes down. When the deal goes down, I'll do the talking. Listen, you got that jambo? Yeah, I know what to do. Yeah, good, because uh, what you do is nothing. Look, I didn't see you send this up, big shot. Remember that I did. Yeah, how about that, huh? Beginner's luck. See, because I've been doing this undercover thing for five years now, and I think maybe I know a couple things you don't. Maybe there's a couple things that maybe you would like to learn. Yeah, like yeah. what? All right, you're right. It is the Yankees. George, this is Jimmy. Gentlemen. Can I get you a drink? So, Jimmy, what can we do for you? George, I'm looking for uh, weight, not bundles. How much weight, James? Three, four pounds. We can accommodate that. It's 50 a key. 
Man, I thought you said they were your friends. That's the Ray James. It's good stuff. You can cut it seven times. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I could probably do a Mexican hat dance on it, too, but I can't sell it to my people. Give me a call, Meatloaf, when you get back on this planet. Look, look, George, George. Let's split a little bit. Let's see 45, huh? Delivery is tonight. Yeah, well, I guess you must be doing a little bit too much of the nose candy yourself if you think I got that kind of change in my back pocket. Look, man, I can move this stuff anytime. If you don't want it, somebody else will. All right, all right. Delivery tonight. I'll see you at the gym in one hour. We'll set the meet then. No, 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 no. We set the meeting now. When I do business, I do it my way or there is no business, okay? Tell you something. Okay, okay. calling you. Dr. Siegel to Ward 4. Come on. Huh? He's okay, Sugar. He's not as white as he looks. This comes back to me, Cole, and I'm through here. Dr. Listen, it's not going to come back to you. We just want the story on this guy. There is a lot of stuff missing on his board. Drugs? Yeah, they were practically body searching the nurses for a while there. Body searching? Then all of a sudden, Dr. Gillette is gone, and there's no more problem. You mean he was peddling drugs out of the hospital? The way I hear it, he was peddling and using them both. There was a lot of shaky medicine happening on the ward for a while there. Mm. Nobody called the cops? He's a doctor, Cole. Who do you think runs this place? If it had been a nurse, they would have been here real fast. And he's still practicing sports medicine, huh? Practicing's right. He sure ain't got it down yet. Guess it's like throwing a wolf in the pig pen. Mm. Mm. Thanks, baby. Dr. Allen to station you still shaking your medicine? <laughs> <laughs> got it. Good. That's what I get for hooking up with an amateur. What the hell is that supposed to be? Man, it look too easy, man. Right now, they're probably wondering why we're buying so high. Look, you're gonna let them walk out of here. Well, that's called negotiating, chump change. Why don't you look it up, man? We're going nowhere. How do you know that? At least this way, we got a deal. Thanks a lot. Chill out, bro. Yeah, some deal, Hotch. So some deal, man. You should have set the meat. The whole thing's too damn shaky. Look, you just get the money and we wait for my call, okay? It'll go down just fine. Yeah, you better hope so. What are you, uh, you leaving town or something? I'm leaving here. I'm not fighting anymore. It's not worth it. Yeah, I know what you mean. What are you doing here? Business. Bronkowski? Maybe. That's not business. It's a dead end. Whatever. Well, <clears throat> I'm out of here. Stay off the rope, Frankie. Okay. 
Watching the damn thing ain't gonna make a ring. Yeah, well, wearing a hole in the floor isn't gonna do it either. You know, I said set a time. I said set a place. We'll keep jerking us around here for hours. Hey, relax, okay? The call's only a couple of minutes late. How long does it take to break a man's neck? Still hasn't called in. Are you keeping that line clear? It's clear. Maybe we better go in. Yeah, we go in now, we'll blow the whole deal. Yeah, but I wonder why haven't they set the meet? What the hell are they doing in there? We'll give them a few more minutes. What took you so long? I was getting worried about you. Got held up. Did your friend get the money? Well, let's give him a call and find out, huh? <laughs> uh, what do we die? Nine one one. I don't need no gun, man. Get Carson on the radio. You're wasting your time, Bobby. Hey! What the hell's going on here? I'm a cop. A cop? Yeah. That's really too bad. There's half a dozen guys outside. Radio cars. You kill us and you're dead meat. I'm afraid I don't bluff that easily. I've got another job for you, Bobby. It'll never work. Well, I don't know why not. This is why not. time when we looked at sports and the people who excelled in them as special and incorruptible. A time when a scandal involving an athlete was almost as unthinkable as a blasphemy in church. We've come a long way since then. And maybe that view of the world was never very accurate. But there's something inside me that just can't help wishing for some heroes to admire again. Charges against you drop right away. Thanks. I'll never forget I'd be uh, saying that to a cop. Hey, I ought to be thanking you. What'd you come back for anyway? I figured you'd be getting in over your head with those guys. I figured I'd come back and uh, straighten you out. Yeah, you're right about that. Well, thanks. Hey, thank you. You got a pretty good left for a cop. Ray could use a little work, though. Speaking of that, what am I going to write about your boxing career? Just tell him I retired undefeated. Oh. While well, I'm still beautiful. <laughs>